Hi, I'm Nancy Castilleja. I'm a speech bit language pathologist and a senior product manager here at Pearson Clinical Assessment. You might have heard of our digital platforms, Q Global and Q Interactive. The focus of this video is on Q Global for telepractice. More information about the other options will be available at a later date. Today, I'm going to introduce Jared Lehner, who is going to show you what it's like to access the BASC-3 digitally, as well as the manuals and resources on Q Global. Go ahead. Thanks, Nancy, and hello, everyone. As mentioned, my name is Jarrett, and I'm one of our healthcare assessment representatives here at Pearson Assessments. And what we're gonna do today is actually walk through Q Global together when discussing how to remotely administer some of our assessments and access some of our free resources. And to do this, I'm actually gonna share my screen with you today. So give me one second here. And we are actually going to see it right here. We should all see my Q Global screen, make it a bit bigger for you. And as mentioned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through these two components. We're gonna start with walking through the digital assessment process. And we're gonna use the BASC-3 as an example in regards to using the remote on-screen administration methods. We're gonna walk through the process of emailing one of these forms to a uh, party, whether or not it's a patient, student, or even a teacher or parent. The, the process is similar. We're just gonna use one of those as an example. Now, just as a heads up, whenever we're going through the assessment process and we do plan on generating a report for the administered assessment, we will need inventory on your Q Global account. And whenever we're talking about the digital assessment process, so digitally administering it on your device, or emailing it to the recipient, we're talking about usages. So if you're looking at any of our product page, looking to uh, looking to see what you need to get started, again, usages is the inventory type we're, we'll be talking about today. Now, the second half, as mentioned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about resources. So digital manuals and stimulus books as appropriate. And we have made a number of these available for free during this time in our resource library right here. And again, that's what we're gonna focus on the second part of today's session, how to access these BASC manuals. Now, to start the assessment process, I like to break into four steps. We're gonna locate or create a profile for an individual. We're gonna sign the assessment, we're gonna administer it, and then we generate the report. And walking through it, just taking a quick look, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this BASC example right here as our demonstration. I'm gonna select them by clicking on the checkbox. I'm gonna click the assign new assessment button. And that's gonna bring up my assessment window, allowing me to type in the assessment I'm looking for, and it's gonna narrow down my search. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead, and as an example, I'm gonna pick the BASC-3 uh, SRP adolescent form. Now, while I'm using the SRP adolescent form, this process is gonna be identical whether or not we're sending it to a parent or a teacher as well. Again, this is just one example. After we select it, I'm gonna click assign, and this is gonna assign the assessment to their profile and navigate me into the digital form to this assessment details page, where we can see our examining details, our assessment details, and our three delivery methods. So how are we gonna get the scores to generate the report? Now, we're largely gonna ignore the manual entry for today because this is what we'd use if we were going to use a paper protocol and then enter in the scores after we've received it completed in order to generate a report. The on-screen method, the second one right here, would see us administer the assessment on our own web-enabled device, like our laptop or our desktop computer, and the remote option, this is the one we're gonna focus on for today, this is gonna allow us to email it to the recipient. Now, after I selected the item, we're gonna scroll down a bit. We're gonna see that we have the option to select who we're sending it to. In this case, I'm gonna leave it as the examinee. I'm gonna copy an email address. In this case, I'm gonna enter in mine, just so you can see what that email looks like. But we would, of course, use the recipient's email as appropriate and as they have one, of course. But right here, we are gonna see that you do have the option to receive a completion notification. And what this is gonna do is simply send you an email when the assessment has been completed. So leave that as is if you wanna receive that, otherwise you can check to not receive it. Otherwise, we're gonna click preview and send invitation. And this is gonna bring us to our email template. And give it a second, there it goes. And what this template simply represents is the email that they're going to receive. Now you can modify this email, you can add text, you can remove some text as needed. 
and you can even save these as templates for later use. Now, when we're ready to send the invitation, we're simply going to click the send invitation button. And by doing so, it's going to send an email to our individual. Now, when I check my email, I'm going to do that for you right now as well. So we're going to do a quick switch. And it's actually right here. So that's perfect. So we can see my email. And if I click right here on the click here, it's going to open up a new tab on their web browser displaying the assessment. So right here, give it a second to load. We're going to see our test instructions. And depending on the form, it does give them the ability to select their preferred administration language. And using the mouse and the navigation buttons, we can navigate from page to page. And again, we're not going to get into the assessment too much for today. This is just an example of how to set it up. But after the assessment has been completed, they will see an assessment completed window, letting them know that they can close the tab. And at that point, you will receive an email letting you know that the assessment is ready for reporting. Now, jumping back to Q Global, what we're going to talk about now is how to access some of these digital resources. So we finished the assessment, we've generated our report. Now, how do we access these digital manuals? Again, some of these free resources we've made available. Now, to do this, we're simply going to go ahead and click on this resource library link right here. And this link itself contains a number of documents and files that are available for viewing about not only the platform, but about the assessments themselves. So for example, looking at the BASC-3, I can expand this folder and we're going to see two different folders. We're going to see a general folder that's going to contain a lot of information about the BASC itself. This could include about documentation, sample reports, appendices. And again, this will change a little bit depending on the assessment but we're also going to see a restricted folder now. And here, we are going to see those resources. So we're going to see these free resources that we've made available. Again, these are free to access during this time. And if we select one of these, like our BASC-3 manual, it's going to open up a new tab of our web browser. I'm going to give it a quick second to load. And the nice thing about it, there it is. All right, and the nice thing about these manuals is the fact that they are digital PDFs. So any navigation that you might normally go through, any shortcuts like a control F or a command F uh, to open that search window, you'll be able to do that here as well. Additionally, the nice thing is that as we navigate through the, through the manual, we are going to notice that the chapters or the topics are actually hyperlinked. So if I wanted to get more information on interpreting the teacher and parent scales, I can click on chapter five, and it's going to bring me right to chapter five. So it makes it really easy to navigate through the assessment. Now, a quick final thought. These are available when you log into Q Global. They are not able to be printed off or saved to your computer. So just a heads up on that. These resources are only available within the Q Global platform. All right, guys, I hope that was a good and helpful snapshot on how to access the digital option of the BASC as well as access some of the digital resources we've made available. Um, for more information, again, absolutely check out the product page and the telepractice link. And Nancy, I'm going to pass it back to you for some closing thoughts. All right, thanks, Jared. That was great. Um, if you had already purchased some Q Global assets, they'll still be in your Q Global restricted folder in addition to the free trials. We added the free trials to everyone's um, account. Um, the free trials will go away after we're in a happy place with COVID-19. Um, and you'll still have the materials that you had purchased earlier. Um, look for more information about using Q Global for telepractice on pearsonassessments.com backslash telepractice. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs>